When you see an ambulance speeding down the street, the last thing you imagine is a college student in the driver's seat. Amanda Pittman tells us more and more young people are taking on this important role. The next time you have to pull over for an ambulance, try looking in the window as the vehicle races by you. You might just recognize one of your classmates as the driver. Most students are just trying to get through school and boost their resumes, but students at the South Orange Rescue Squad are volunteering in the community and saving lives. The 40 students who work as EMTs for the South Orange Rescue Squad are lacing up their boots and taking real world experience to a whole new level. They're all active volunteers on the rescue division and EMS division and also the leadership here is also a lot of us to run. Trainees ride as a third person on the ambulance for six months, after which supervisors cut them loose to run as full-fledged EMTs. Students like Audrey Sanford use EMS experience to help them get into medical school and separate their applications from thousands of others. But she says that it's not just about the resume, it's about the rush too. Well obviously you get the call and you know you have to hurry, especially a code three, you drive lights and sirens, you drive real fast, um, and you get that rush, kind of the blood pumping, and you get the white knuckles on the steering wheel. Sanford says some patients, especially the elderly, are surprised by how young the EMTs are, but their age doesn't keep these students from working hard to make a difference in Orange County. In Carborough, I'm Amanda Pittman, Carolina Week. Well, I know as a student, I definitely can't imagine volunteering for the EMT as well. Yeah, big time commitment. Well, that does it for this edition of Carolina Week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.